Hey, how you doing? Just want to talk about how the gang stalkers, they take away your job. They want to take away all your finances and your friends and your family. And, um, you know, they want you to end up homeless um, with nothing, um, no support network and things like that. They try to isolate you from pretty much everything, um, from even government help or that you can get from people like, you know, in any aspect, they've infiltrated every part of society and um, you can't get really help from anybody. Um, you'll only get yourself locked up in a mental hospital if you try to explain the circumstances to gang stalking and how you're targeted and what goes on and the type of weird shit that goes on every day. And um, you see a lot of people who are targeted individuals, they're homeless, they're running from place to place, hiding in parks, hiding in alleyways, hiding in hotels, um, sleeping on buses, you know, anywhere they can go to get away from being hit by these frequencies and being targeted by other people in their lives. You know what I mean? What these people do is highly illegal, then they know they're very well they're breaking the law. That's why they hide invisible, undercover, thinking that they're not going to get caught for the things that they're doing to people in the world, in their targeting. And there's a lot of people out there that are suffering and being unheard, that have been unheard, their voices unheard, because they can't artic speak about this gang stalking and de even describe the type of shit that happens to them. Because it's so fucking weird. The way what they say to you, what they do, everybody just acts like a weirdo, pretty much. And like to explain that to a to a therapist, to explain that to the police, anyone like that in the government, you would appear crazy. And there's millions of people in the world that are ending up homeless and have nothing left in their lives. And everything has been taken away from them because of selfish ass gang stalkers that don't care about nothing but themselves and only causing misery and havoc gives them joy and in their lives and causing misery and pain for, for anyone they come across in their life. You know what I mean? It gives them like joy of some sort. But you know what I mean? Some gratification that um, putting people down and things like that is okay. And it's all right to like, you know, treat people like shit and walk all over people. But one day it'll be their turn, you know what I mean? And they won't like, and they'll have to eat their own words for everything that they've done to people. And, um, you know, just a lot of people out there are suffering with during these times because they're taking away all their friends and family and leaving people homeless. And, they, you know, they're suffering in pain, you know, constantly all the time. You know what I mean? And... um I try to move away from the place that I'm currently at and um, I was only followed by these invisible people everywhere I went and the targeting increased even more. You know, they they used everybody they could possibly get a hold of, you know what I mean, to just to get to me and try to intimidate me and cause me to snap and lash out at these people that are attacking me and get me arrested or anything and they're they're trying to do that with everyone around the world, you know what I mean, that's getting targeted. You know, they're trying to cause everyone to just snap and lash out and attack their neighbours and attack people around, whoever's around in the vicinity, because we're all under attack and the only weapon we have is your phone and we've got to put these people on record, you know what I mean, and show the bullshit that these people are up to. You know, these dark, nefarious ways that they're up to. Sneaky, they do it real sly too. And you, it's very hard to pick it up. You know, only a TI can pick up all the weirdness and that whenever someone films what's going on and you'll see people with red shirts or whatever colour cars going past and they're highly sensitising you to all those things. And you know, they'll use women, children, men as well to all come your way to um, try to intimidate you or whatever um, into believing you're some sort of like deviant bad person, 
you know what I mean? That's caused all harm to everybody or whatever. But it's far from the truth. You know what I mean? You're this, you've always, TIs are always good people. Most TIs I know that I see in the world are very good people. They usually like very spiritual people and that. And um, they're highly in tune with, with nature and, you know, and, um, and positive experiences and trying to elevate their minds into, you know, a higher, higher realm of thinking instead of being, and, and you get these people on the other hand who were just dark and negative and, and primitive and the things that they say are very carnal in nature very carnal in nature and the way they behave and it's very weird to uh, when whoever sees what's going on in the world you know and there's only a few people out there in the world that can prove all this what's going on in the world and um but people are putting their things um film footage on youtube and you know they're not getting much likes or hits or anything like that because they're being shadow banned um, by YouTube or by other um, entities that are, are controlling the algorithms and that in the the pro in the platforms, and um, your emails are hacked, your computers hacked, all that as well. Like they take control of my computer, they take control over my technology and things that I've got as well, you know, and. Um, you know, everything is designed to try to have you end up with nothing in the end. You know what I mean? Even your own flesh and blood, they try to take you away from. And um, that's how sick and sinister this program is, where they can turn everyone against you. Doesn't matter if you did a million things for people. You know what I mean? And... You told people you love them and you did everything for these people. But then when once an invisible, once a gang stalker comes in your life, you know what I mean, and they all meet each other, then it's like a, you see a totally different character. You see a totally different personality in a person. It just comes out. And, you know, it's demonic in nature in a lot of cases. You see some people having a good time just like carrying on, you know what I mean? just mucking around but just when you see these people when they, they're just demonic they're just demonic in nature and um they attack everybody that they come across and um especially a ti they just don't leave you alone they constantly want to see people end up in the worst ways in their life it gives them pleasure to um hurt others and it gives them pleasure to like put people in mental hospitals and force people to commit suicide and and um try to cause violence in in the person and that and it gives them pleasure because these people are like a sick people they get off on pain and and um and just sick shit like they just like laugh at people's like downfalls and all that you know if they see like a retarded person on the street or a crippled person, they just laugh, and they'll just, like, look down on those people and stuff like that, and um, just tease them and things like that, because they're just very just sick like that. That's just their mentality, to look at people who are fat and um, just accuse, and then just call people fat or lesbians or whatever, and just label people and just with all these names and things, whoever they come across. And everyone you come across is pretty much an agent. You know what I mean? They've all been turned to this program. Once they were probably all intimidated and terrified out of their minds too. And they've forgotten what it was like when they were a victim and of circumstances. And um, before they were, and I've been going through this for 17 years and I, have, I can't have my own home because I get attacked by people. I have to live with my mother and father. I'm 45 years old. I've got no home to go to. And these people are taking everything from me. You know what I mean? My dignity, my pride, everything. 
They intimidate me. They sexually harass me. They sodomize me. They do everything to break me and cause me to snap and just lash out and just start killing somebody or attacking someone or suicide or reporting it to the police to have me thrown in a mental hospital. And it's ultimately to have you thrown in jail. And a mental illness triggers all those things off where they want you to tr have trigger off a mental illness inside you where you'll go out and you'll start attacking people and things like that. And they'll call you mentally ill and they'll take away all your freedoms and things like that. And they just want you to die pretty much and just see you waste away to nothing. Um, they, they're weak people. They don't like to build up anybody in the targeting. When you're a targeted individual, they don't give you delusions of grandeur or anything like that, like that you're the almighty God or, you know, you're like you're a chick maggot or anything like that. They do quite the opposite. They call your penis small. They call you a pedophile. They call you a homosexual. They sodomize you. They mistreat you in every way. And they'll get their fam your family members to do that to you also. And um, they will try everything in their means just to break you down and to fail and for you to snap and, um, and not talk about your targeting and what's going on in your life. And, um, you know... And the best way to do that is have you locked up in a mental hospital where every where all the doctors are going to discredit you and everyone's going to discredit you. And um, believe me, I was in a mental hospital for quite a long time. A few times I had to go back and forth because um, I, I thought it was the right thing to do to um, go and get help and ask somebody about these invisible people who are sodomizing me and raping me every day. And I thought it would be a good idea to talk to someone about all my torture and things like that, that I'm going through in my life. And the more I talked about monsterhood and what was going on, the more I was tortured, the more I was mistreated, the more I was pumped with medication and um, discredited even further. And they just want to drug you in there and just experiment on you like a guinea pig because targeted individuals are highly intelligent people and they like to experiment on highly intelligent people because if the, the program works on me and you, that means it'll work on everyone else in the, in the programming. And they only want submissive people who submit to the program and who bow down and bend over for these people and give them whatever they want and um, all, for a, all for a job or anything. And they'll sell out their family, their friends, doing those kind of things. And, um, you know, gang stalking seems to be the, um, the job these days for people, every, for even children and everyone. They're recruiting old ladies, little kids everywhere you go. They're just recruiting everyone into being a gang stalker. And um, everyone I come across is being, um, you know, used in my targeting. And because these invisible people, they broadcast my, um, my, my shit everywhere they go. Everything that goes on in my mind. And they're, every time they attack me, they broadcast it to everybody else to also play in on their targeting and try to like uh look superior or try to be social because uh, a lot of gang stalkers the way they socialize with each other is that they gang stalk and whenever they're going around gang stalking they meet each other along the way and they've got all their signals and their and their sayings and their and their signs that they make with each other and, you know, and they throw up their signs or whatever, the Masonic signs they're doing or whatever uh, to each other. And it's a way for them to socialise, you know, and um, because these people, like, don't have a life, you know, all they do is gang stalk every day and um, plot and scheme um, and be sinister and slight and try to think of, like, nefarious dark ways 
that they can come up with to make this place hell that we're living in today. And, you know, slowly, slowly, they're successful turning this place into a hell for everybody. And it's going to become a hell for everybody. And um, they're laughing now, but, you know, they won't be laughing when the end of the world comes. And the more and more you push um, the the end of the world, the more it'll happen. The more the more evil you summon, the more demons you summon into this world, the end of humanity it will be. The more of the humanity will end, and it'll just be demons demons running around, because they will get rid of the humans, because they feel more superior to everybody else on the earth, and they feel entitled to these demons. Feel entitled to this world, they. They always hated humans. They've always hated humans. And now that they can control humans and turn them into monsters, you know, there's going to be an end game to all this. And um, everybody is being manipulated and targeted. And you can see the climate change and you can see slowly, slowly, it's going to happen. You know what I mean? And um, you just got to be ready for it and prepared, you know, for survival skills the right survival skills, all that, even surviving in the bush, you know, any skill, any trade that you have will be helpful because these times will come where we'll see like the sun, solar flares, earthquakes, all the weather change, all the harp technology, all the gang stalking, they'll turn into zombies, they'll like be turning people into zombies They'll be like Thriller in Michael Jackson, pretty much. And everybody will be running around, just killing each other, attacking each other. Something like you'll see. And those times will come, you know. And there's a lot of biblical prophecies that have been foretold, that are coming to true now, you know. And we're starting to see how this is playing out, you know what I mean. And it's always been good versus evil. And man has always been the pawn in this game. We, you and me as people, we have always been pawns for these gods and devils. You know what I mean? And they're all playing us. And we're all like being computer programmed now by they've hacked the human brain and they can program human beings and they they all gaslight you and they all like want you to like fail. Everyone's... This program is designed for everyone to fail and look like a pedophile or a homo or anything like that, serial killer, murderer, anything they can try to accuse you of. You know what I mean? They will try, hold you, because because they're all going to hell and they want to hold you down. They want to drag you down with them. You know what I mean? Because, you know, it's it's all a big game to them. You know what I mean? You know, it's like they'll get... The more and more people they catch, they think they're going to be like saved or something like that. But the more negativity you put out in the world, the more you attack and the more violent you are, the more evil you are, and you think you're doing good, but it's only going to be your demise and it's only going to be your end, you know, as a result, because you're going to be treated exactly the same. And you'll let the more and more freedoms you take away from from individuals, from people around the world, the more freedoms you're going to lose as a gang stalker or anything. You know, you have no freedom in your monsterhood or anything. You know what I mean? There are more and more. Once all us targeted individuals are gone, guess who's next? It's going to be the monsterhood. They're going to attack that. You know what I mean? And they're going to create, create some other faction to separate and divide monsterhood. Believe me. Believe me. And then they'll they'll have these elite people, elite monsters, and then you'll have these low-level monsters, right? And then the high elite monsters will wipe out the elite monsters. And then they'll separate the elites. And then the elites will separate the elite till there's nothing left, till there's fucking nothing left. These people like, you put a bunch of rats in a bag, right? And the rats all eat each other. If you don't feed these rats in a bag, they'll all start eating each other. And that's the type of mentality, how they treat humans. 
You know what I mean? That they get the idea that people are all going to start killing each other and things like that. They think people don't have any dignity and would rather die than sell out their brother or sister and, you know, be humiliated and be a fucking sellout to this fucking evil program. You know what I mean? At least some of us have got dignity and we'd rather die than fucking kill our own families and our friends, which you're going to do, which you're going to all do. You're going to wipe out your own families and separate people and things like that to all the rats are eaten in the bag, you understand? And you're all manipulated and we've always been the pawns in this sick game. Humanity has always been the pawn. We're just people looking for a paycheck, pretty much. All we want to do is have nice things and support and have a f- friends and things like that. And it's all being programmed. It's all be- it's all an illusion. They can take that from you anytime they want to, you know, and create pandemics and create catastrophes and take you away from your friends and family any time they want to have you locked up in a mental hospital. You know what I mean? And they're trying to make people homeless and have nothing in their lives, you know, because they're all evil. It's a sick program. It's an evil, sick program. It's designed for people to turn into predators and become this sort of criminal who's going to attack people, be violent, or you're going to be sexual. You're going to be a sexual or a violent criminal and you're going to go around hurting everybody. You possibly can because they turn you into a predator, you know, and your handlers tell you to pretty much go out on the street and get to work and do your job and start gang stalking people and look for trouble and try to create this chaos because the program loves it. You know, the AI that loves, loves the chaos because slowly, slowly, everything gets degraded. And the more and more chaos is created, that gives the army to come chance to come in and create martial law and lock everybody down and hold everybody in prisons and things like that. And have because they're all predators, because now you've turned a bunch of good people into a bunch of sick, evil predators, and then they're going to lock everyone down. And do all these things if they don't come in and just kill you and turn you into a zombie and just fucking kill you anyway. You know what I mean? And um, just like in the movies and um, and brainwash you. And um, believe me, we're just we're just a bunch of pawns in this sick game, you know, and we're all being played and friggin lied to. And they're all using our families and trying to leave people homeless with nothing and you know, and believe me, the more and more you take away from people, you know, the more things are going to be also taken away from you. You know what I mean? The more freedoms you're giving up from society, the more freedom you're taking away from an, any individual that you choose, you're taking away your own freedom and you're going to lose in the end. You know what I mean? And the more and more control they're going to have over you. You're just going to be a mind-controlled zombie and there's going to be nothing left of you. They're just going to thrash you and there's going to be nothing left of you and then they don't want you anymore, you know? And what, they don't want you anymore. And then what the fuck are you going to do then? You know what I mean? Kill yourself? Maybe you should, you know what I mean? Because you've done all these sick shit to people and you can't take back. You can't take it back, you know? And they kicked you out of the gang and then... You know, you've got nothing now and you've got nothing now. You haven't got your good looks and your nice ass, you know, to fucking play with anymore because you've just thrashed it and everybody's just thinks you're just evil and sick and twisted. And, you know, you've got fucking schizophrenia and all those kind of things, the way people behave in that. And you're all just, we're all just sick pawns in this game being controlled by this, these elites and things like that, and um, they all want to leave us with nothing, and homeless basically, with nothing, and take away everything, they all want control over everybody, they all want to want everything and give you nothing, they want to take everything from society and give it nothing, 
and we're slowly, slowly, you know what I mean, the banks, the corporations, you know, they're the ones that get rich, not us. We're the ones left paying off the debt, you know what I mean? And believe me, all these sick, evil people will be paying off their debt all right in hell, you know what I mean? And they're just sick pawns in this game. And they've all been used and manipulated just so they can go around and have their little bit of fun gang stalking. But their turn will come next. They're giving up their freedoms. More and more freedoms you take away from targeted individuals, people in the world, you know, that are standing up for themselves. Anyone who's speaking out on YouTube, freedom of speech, anything like that. You're losing your own freedom of rights to speak out. And you'll become a robot zombie controlled. You know what I mean? And, you know, they're just going to control your day-to-day -day life everywhere you go. You know, and lock us all down. You know what I mean? There'll just be more and more lockdowns. The more pressure they put on people. You know what I mean? The more they'll just turn you into some robot controlled zombie. You know what I mean? And they're going to leave, take everyone's home from them. Because you owe the bank money. You owe everyone. You owe this debt to society and everything. And they're just going to take it back from you. You don't really own anything. It belongs to the, the, the country that you live in. You know what I mean? You pay your land rates and you pay your land rates. And if you don't pay your land rates, guess what? They take your land. You know what I mean? And you've got to pay your taxes and you've got all that. You know? And so with that being said, just take care and we're just all a bunch of pawns being used in the in this sick targeting program. So many innocent people, you know what I mean? So many good people have fallen victim to this. And with that being said, take care.